Have you ever had a leaky turbo? You want to know why? Today, we're going to talk about why turbos leak. This is an S300 center cartridge. This is the cutaway of the cartridge to show the insides of the turbo. Let's get to it. So let's discuss turbo oil seals and what causes a turbo to leak. These are simple piston rings that both have a gap on the one end. And this is where they fit the turbo. The turbine side seal is going to fit right there. And it has a gap right at the top. The compressor side seal is a little smaller and it fits up here inside that seal housing. Now we'll go over the makeup of a turbo, leaking issues, and the general causes of a leaking turbo. See, a turbo has a piston ring right on the turbine side and also on the compressor side. This is a stationary O-ring. The actual seal is located inside of here. A turbo seal is not a true seal. If you could see up here, there is a piston ring. And if you could see up here, you would see that this seal has a gap in it. This is the oil inlet on the top and the oil outlet on the bottom. The oil comes into the oil inlet here and it goes down these two tunnels to the journal bearing and then it basically drains out it's a gravity drain it also has a little path here that takes oil up to the front thrust bearing as well there is no true seal in the turbo what really helps them not leak are things called oil slings can you see that this has a little angle right here as the oil hits here, while this is spinning, it will sling or force the oil out and away from the seal. The same thing happens on the compressor side. The turbo has to be spinning at a decent speed to effectively sling the oil away from the seals, thus preventing oil leaks. Because the turbo does not have a true seal, if it does not drain properly, it will always leak. This is a properly sized oil drain. If this is not draining sufficiently fast, and this sits and fills up with oil to where it reaches the oil seals up here, it is going to leak out. If it's not draining properly, the turbo will leak 100% of the time. If your turbo doesn't flow downward through the oil drain line, your turbo will have a leaking problem. If the oil drain line is kinked, or not the correct inner diameter, it can also cause it to back up the oil and leak. We sometimes see people put AN style fittings on because they think it looks better to drain their oil. The AN style fittings almost always cause a turbo to leak because they don't allow the turbo to drain properly. This is because the AN fittings have a smaller ID. However, one of the most common causes of oil leaks is excessive crankcase pressure. You can see this cavity here, oil comes in and migrates out of the journal bearing and goes down and drains out of the turbo. The slinging keeps oil away from the seals, but there is generally positive pressure on the boost side and the exhaust side of the turbo. As the housing fills with boosted air or exhaust, there is a little bit of leakage through these seal gaps into the inners of the turbo, which keeps the gases going down through the turbo with the oil. But if your engine has blow-by or a lot of crankcase pressure, or you don't have a proper crankcase vent, or a dirty filter on your crankcase and it pressurizes your crankcase, the crankcase pressure will come up through the oil drain and it'll push air or exhaust out of those gaps in the seals. And if it does that, oil will certainly follow. If there is positive pressure coming from the boost and the exhaust side of the turbo, it will not leak. If there's excessive crankcase pressure coming up through the turbo, it will always cause an oil leak. If a turbo ever leaks out of both ends, you're gonna know exactly what the cause was. It is excessive crankcase pressure or a draining problem. It's very rare, but a turbo can leak out of one side or the other due to an underlying problem. But once again, if it's leaking through both ends, it's almost 100% of the time caused by crankcase pressure or a draining problem. So to recap, if your turbo is leaking, but it's not old or worn out, 
the first thing to check is to make sure it is draining properly. The oil drain is flowing downward and is not kinked, and the oil drain is of the right diameter. For an S300 or S400 turbo, you should have at least three quarters of an inch ID inner diameter to drain properly. Next, make sure you don't have a dirty air filter. The dirty air filter can cause suction that pulls air out of the turbo seals and cause it to leak. If it is still leaking, you will need to do a compression test on your engine to make sure you don't have excessive crankcase pressure coming up through your turbo. If your turbo is leaking at high boosted situations but not at idle, it is almost always a sign that you have blow-by in your engine and have excessive crankcase pressure. The last thing that could cause your turbo to leak is if you have a large turbo and you spend a lot of time idling it. A large turbo will not spin very fast at idle and if it's not spinning fast, it will not sling the oil away from the seals. So don't let your truck idle too long if you have a large turbo, like an S300 or an S400. Those are the main reasons that a turbo can leak. Give us a call if you have any more questions, but that does it for us.